What is it? What's up? I don't know, but he's a tough guy. He shouldn't go down that easily. Still, you never know in a place like this. There's a red corner nest to the north of here that I want to check out. You know, just to make sure. I would like you to accompany me. I'll give you a grenade script to get you prepared. Okay, I've marked it on your map. What the heck is this place? Anyway, we need to get to the nest and look around. So we'll have to somehow keep the coronas away or take them out. You think of something?
Hi. I don't see any human signs here. That's a relief. But what is this? Gives me the willies. I don't think we're alone in this place. What's up? Unbelievable stuff. This looks like an altar of some sort. Not only that, judging by the size of this place, whoever built this had to be huge as well. We really picked the wrong planet to crash land on. I'm going to report back to Dr. Carter regarding David and what we're seeing right now. This can't be good. It's strange, though. We haven't encountered anything that could have built this, and this place looks really old. Huh? Well, I didn't see anyone on my way to the crater, but with the trajectory the lifeboats were going, there should be some lifeboats that way. Maybe you should go take a look. Here, let me mark it on your map. Look, another survivor. Yeah? I'm Lau, a member of the mineralogy team. I'm so happy to finally see another human face around here. We landed a bit southwest of here, right into the nest of some monsters. Two of my friends were killed right away the moment we left the boat, and a couple of others were caught. We had to make a run for it. Besides me and Adissa here, there was another Martian lady with us. I think her name was Daida, but she went back to the boat to see if anyone else survived and we've been waiting here for her since. I'm really worried. You know what? Do you think you can go with me to the nest to take a look? Look, I know it's going to be dangerous, so here's some things of use to you. I've marked the location on your map. Let's get going. No. 
know, for someone like me who's used to lunar gravity, it's tough to run in a place like this. Honestly, if I would knew we'd run into so much trouble, I would have stayed on Luna. Look, Daida is there, and another person too. Draw the bears away, and I'll sneak in to help them. Hello there. Can I help you? Damn right it was. Holy canoe. This planet is just way too dangerous. We should probably try living underground. <laughs> I don't know. I can only hope for the best. Yeah, I was only pretending to be hurt so that the bears wouldn't guard me so closely. The moment I saw an opening, I was going to jet out of there with the other survivor. Because I don't like to leave people behind, unlike you Earthlings. I'm Daida Saxena, a doctor from the Martian Civil Corps. Thanks for mounting a rescue, though I would have gotten out on my own anyway. Yeah, maybe. It's a pretty deep bite wound on the side. Ugh, we should have brought in the army first. Can I help you? Okay, let's move. You're back. I was really worried there. Nothing to it. Are you hurt? You don't have to worry about me. What is it? I wanted to see new things. Breathe new air, you know? I've been on Luna my entire life. Always looking up to see Earth. So I wanted to visit a planet of my own.
Odessa said she wanted to go back to the boat to see if she could get anything useful out of it. After that, who knows? What will you do? Are you coming with us? Oh? If that's the case, don't forget to get us too when you're done setting up a colony. Well, wait a bit around here and I'll heal up. Since you cleared out those fire bears, we can get to our ship and see if we can salvage anything. You coming with us? I saw some ships landing that way on approach radar as well. In fact, I remember one heading towards this area. Let me mark it on your map. Be sure and come get us once you have made the base camp, okay? Well, what do you expect? I'm surprised the Martian government agreed at all to cooperate with Earth on the colonization initiative. It's only been a few years since the last war. The mistrust was palpable on board the Epiphany. Just leave her be.